it's ice skating season and the winter olympics are starting tonight who's gonna be watching hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is anna and i make new york city based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity in this week's video i am talking about ice skating and the top four places where you can go ice skating in new york city the winter olympics are starting today and I love watching ice skating. I think it's such a fun sport. Bobsledding also and curling. I've always wanted to try my hand at curling. And these winter activities inspired me to make this video. So without further ado, let's get into the top four places where you can go ice skating in the city. I will start with the most downtown location and then work my way up north to the most uptown location. There are different activities around the ice skating rinks that I'll talk to you about today. I'll discuss the pros and cons, the cost, and other sorts of activities and packages that they may offer. Now the cost is going to be for one adult on a Saturday and it includes the skate rental. I've done the research, you don't have to. Every now and then I'll be referring to the websites but don't worry, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box below and you can check that out at the end of the video. The first place is called the Rink at Brookfield Place. It is in Lower Manhattan, right next to the Hudson River. Beautiful views of the bay and the boats that get parked there. There's an indoor complex with food and high-end shopping. The ice skating rink is open from mid-November through to March. On Saturdays and Sundays, it's open from 9 a.m. to 9.15 p.m. And on the weekdays, it's open from 2 to 9.15 p.m. Make sure that you arrive 15 to 30 minutes before your appointment time. For most of these ice skating rinks, you need to book tickets ahead of time on their website. And you're allowed one hour of skating. The cost is going to be $24 for one adult on a Saturday morning, and that also includes the cost of the skates. If you're not that great at ice skating and you need something to hold on to, an ice skating aid is offered for $15 and you can hold on to that for 30 minutes while you're out on the ice. It looks like a penguin with handles attached to it and it's really great if you have bad balance. Disclaimer though, it seems mostly like children are the ones using this ice skating aid. So if you are an adult and want something like that, I am not sure if they will be able to rent it out to you. What can you do nearby after you're done ice skating? Well, Brookfield Place is such an amazing complex. You can walk around inside, get some hot chocolate, go into the high-end shops. Inside Brookfield Place, there's a 30,000 square foot French-inspired marketplace called Lay District. And there you can find crepes, ice cream, sandwiches, lots of different types of French cheeses, burgers. There's an upstairs section too with many more dining options. So if you are hungry after your intense ice skating session, you can head on over there and it's all inside so you'll be nice and warm. Jersey is right across the river. If you're there late at night, you can catch the sunset. It's a really beautiful outdoor area. Moving up north, the next ice skating rink is located inside Bryant Park's Winter Village. So every winter, Bryant Park puts up an ice skating rink right in the center. It's sponsored by Bank of America. And around it, there are holiday shops and they're seasonal. This only happens during the winter. If you have a Bank of America credit or debit card, you can save 10% on your ice skating session if you use your Bank of America card when booking your tickets online. Ice skating sessions last 55 minutes long and Bryant Park does offer free skating if you bring your own skates. If you do not bring your own skates, then the cost is $24 for one adult on a Saturday. That includes the skate rentals. They give you a plastic bag to put your stuff in and you'll have that plastic bag on your back while you're skating. But if you have bigger items like strollers or luggage, then you have to check them in with bag check and it'll cost you an additional $12. The rink is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the season goes from late October until early March. After you're done with your skating session, you can stay right in the park. There's so many things to explore. 
The location is perfect because all the holiday shops are surrounding the ice skating rink and you can get hot chocolate there. There's an entire section for food. So you really don't have to leave the park for several hours. Nothing beats that. The shops that surround the ice skating rink are mostly small businesses, local businesses from around the area. So it's always great to see what is there and oftentimes they change every year. I love supporting small businesses and I really do recommend that you take a stroll around and see what's offered. You can find great holiday gifts there. Moving on up north, the next place is the rink at Rockefeller Center and it's located between 49 and 50th streets in Rockefeller Plaza. It's open daily from 9 a.m. to midnight and the season runs from November to April. For general admission, it will cost one adult going there on a Saturday $38. That includes the ice skates, which costs $10. There's a different cost for children, so be sure to check the website. You have 60 minutes from the arrival time on your ticket, so be sure to get there early. Get there early, lace up your skates. You don't want to miss a single minute out there on the ice. If you live in the city, you can purchase a membership. Special events are hosted here, so it's worth checking their calendar ahead of time to see if they have any special events planned on the day you intend to go there ice skating. They also offer ice skating lessons for 30 minutes. The cost is $60 for one skater and that does not include the admission or the skate rental. The most exciting thing is that you can celebrate special events at Rockefeller Center. So you can celebrate engagements, anniversaries, birthdays, all of the events that you can think of. You can fill out a request form on their website and host your event there. What's really great about it is that if you choose a session for you and your family members or you and your friends out on the ice, you can choose your own playlist and you'll have the ice all to yourselves. What is there to do after your skating session? Well, you're in Rockefeller Center, so there are so many shops around the area. And inside the plaza, if you go downstairs, inside the indoor area, you can find a lot of eating places there. There are other shops around the area. You can go to Fifth Avenue and just walk up and down on Fifth Avenue. You can really make a whole day trip out of this. The last place is the Woolman Rink in Central Park. This is located at around 63rd Street and the location of the rink is right inside the park. The season runs from late October and it ends on March 31st. On Fridays and Saturdays, they're open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., but the times vary on other days, so be sure to check their website before you go. The cost for one adult going there on a Saturday is $35. That also includes your skates. There are no sessions here, so you can stay out on the ice for as long as you want. However, the only caveat is you need to be aware of when the Zamboni needs to come clean the ice. So be sure to check the website for the schedule. They have the times posted there of when the Zamboni comes out onto the ice to clean it. Otherwise, if you plan your time perfectly, you can stay out on the ice for much longer than the other places, since there are no sessions here and no time slots. Once you're out on the ice, you can enjoy it for as long as you want. Beginner adult skating lessons are offered here too. The cost of a 30 minute session is $50. You should check the website for other packages and other options that are offered. If you want a 30 minute private skating lesson, the cost can go anywhere from $70 to $85. It really just depends on who your coach is. And that cost does not include admission fees to get onto the rink in the first place. The stuff that you can do nearby afterwards is visit Central Park. You can take a walk around. You can visit the zoo, which is located inside the park too. And if you're up for a longer walk, if you go up north 20 blocks, you can visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's one of the largest art museums in the world. Fantastic collections. There's so much to see there. You really can't see it all in one day. So you have to pick and choose what sections and what galleries interest you. But it's close by to the skating rink if you're up for that long walk and it's so worth it. So that's it. Those are the top four places to go ice skating in New York City. I really hope that you enjoy your session out there on the ice. Do some twirls if you can. Bring out that Olympic spirit. Just have an amazing time. What's your favorite Olympic sport to watch? Let me know in the comment section down below.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me on Instagram. I come out with new videos every Thursday. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.